dictators and crustaceans making sweet love. There are no heteros in Boston Sam. <gasps> Rated M for like one scene where it gets too harsh, but otherwise a toddler can read this. Update, do not let toddlers read this. <laughs> it's a smut about BTS and Lightning McQueen. What else do you want me to say? Jesus Christ. Bestie Elon Musk. <laughs> Oh, fanfiction tags. Where would we be without them? If you're unfamiliar with fanfiction tags, they're basically there to help you filter through what you want to read and what you want to avoid when you're perusing and browsing fanfiction. For instance, if I was craving for a fanfic that was a college AU with mutual pining, friends to lovers, and omegaverse, I could use tags to help me find the fanfic of my dreams. On the other side of the coin, if I wanted to avoid reading anything with like arranged marriage or slow burn or prolonged eye contact. I could do that as well. But besides the practicality and accessibility of tagging, people just like to get funky with it sometimes. Oh, the world of fanfic tagging is a vast and terrifying one at that. I previously made a video about a year ago, two years ago, I can't keep track anymore, where I went over crazy fanfic tags. And today, to continue the legacy, I'm going to be sharing with you, yes, you lovely viewers, some gloriously cursed fanfiction tags. But before we dive in, I want to give a very quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Pet Canva. Pet Canva creates personalized pet products to let you show off the special animal friend in your life. All you got to do is upload a photo of your pet to their website and they'll create a one-of-a-kind piece of art of your pet that can be turned into pretty much anything. Would you like a framed picture of your dog's face? Or how about a big, gorgeous, fuzzy blanket? Seriously, guys, I was so impressed by this blanket. It's insanely nice quality. You can get a phone case or a t-shirt, whatever you want to appreciate your pet. I am super pleased with how they captured my dog Rumor's likeness. He's definitely getting to be an older boy. You can tell by the white and gray fur they put on his muzzle. He's gonna be 10 this year. And it might sound a little silly, but having things like a blanket and phone case with his dopey face on it really warms my heart. Pet Canva's products make excellent gifts. If you're interested in getting some products with art of your adorable pet's face on them, then check out my link in the description and use my code Coley for 25% off your entire purchase. That's petcanva.vip slash Coley for 25% off your entire purchase. Huge thank you to everyone who shared these cursed tags with me on my community tab, as well as on Twitter and Instagram. Y'all are lifesavers. This is my first time going through these as well, so... I'm a little scared. Putting my grubby little hands all over canon for fun and profit. Don't ask how a woman and a cat ghost can have children. Improper use of candles. Wetting someone else's pants. How? But sir, that's my emotional support war criminal. Sonic's gay awakening, I guess. Does this count as four? God, I hope not. Technically not necrophilia. In the name of all that is jazzy, someone get this dog to therapy, thanks. Eldrick train summoning. Accidentally included butt plugs. Is this everything everywhere all at once? Rosary porn. Alternate universe. Aesthetic weed blog. Dictators and crustaceans making sweet love. It's a smut about BTS and Lightning McQueen. What else do you want me to say? Hey, Jesus Christ. Inappropriate use of the force. Not that inappropriate, in my opinion. Mentions of Italian restaurants. Very scary. Non-consensual candlelit dinner, except candles are against the law, so lanterns will have to do. Vehicular manslaughter and its cousin, vehicular sex. Eating broken glass is seriously not good for you. Bestie Elon Musk. Every weird fanboy's wet dream. Every author has their crack fig, I know, but I also like to think I scarred myself. There are no heteros in Boston Say. Daddy kink, but in a priestly way. BDSM, but like in a spiritual way. BDSM, but nobody knows what it actually stands for. Bad dog, sad moment. Take advantage of me like I'm a profitable investment. It's prose, it's poetry, it's a mental breakdown. All creepiness is platonic. There's no incest. And no robot sex. Fluffy, vor-adjacent behavior. Canon typical limb detachment. Is that for Star Wars? War as a spectator sport slash first date. Fruit Loops. Freeform. There's gotta be Toucan Sam x Tony the Tiger fanfic out there. Someone find it for me. <laughs> oh my god, what if there's a shipping war between like Toucan Sam x the Cheerios honeybee and Toucan Sam x Tony the Tiger? <laughs> Wait a minute, Toucan Sam x the Cuckoo for Cocoa Buffs Kai. Oh, you cute little narcissist. Canon, but slightly to the left. Why are these gay robot women having sex? Why aren't these gay robot women having sex? Mild rat gore. Librarians want to eat your babies. I'm serious about this. They are legitimately bagels. Maybe I won't kill them off, but I can make them suffer. The e-girl egg you absolutely nobody needs. Colonization of British West Florida. Corn. My son has a 
White boy name, why? That is indeed cursed. Tiss. Not in a kinky way. Magic is embarrassing. No beta, we die like Bramble Claw's virginity. Oh, Warrior Cats fandom, what are you doing? Rated E for emotional noodles. John Watson being homophobic? Scrooge McDuck ex Santa Claus. Why can I see this plausibly existing? Like, it not exists because of the tag, but like, it's all a cursed brain worm. <laughs> this bird has so many mental illnesses, somebody help him. I love them followed by So I Kill Them. Abnormally Sentient Cats as a Plot Device, Part 2. Cannon was slow roasted at 225 degrees and carved for juicy bits. Inappropriate use of Minecraft items during sex. Mm. Car sex, but it's actually two cars doing it. Ka chow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Traumatizing as a sport. Happy ending with cannibalism. Hiking porn. Political indoctrination through <laughs> Chiron the river sticks. Goro Akechi loves lobster daddy. It's just me and my extremely niche knowledge on war crimes. If your definition of bliss includes government mandated vlogging. Oh dear god, I don't want to subject anyone to that. <laughs> Not that intimate, but pretty intimate for someone who has no friends. When Steve Rogers gets laid, an eagle is born. Explains why they're in danger. Oh. Oh. Cannibalism, but it's sexy. Or, but it's not sexy. Lightning McQueen has flesh on the inside. That might be the most- Oh! That might be the most cursed one yet. No. 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 Minor humanoid sacrifice. Six that would make Sigmund Freud write a whole new book. Can't keep getting away with this. Killing cannon and rifling through its pockets for spare plots. Minor kidnapping, but it's all in good fun. This fic was designed for people with niche interests, such as bird and sad. Is it really cannibalism if it's Nazis, though? Taking down the government one glow stick at a time. Getting updogged. At some point, a mermaid eats a lemon. A romantic asexual steam engine. Improper use of broken glass. Thor does not have a magical healing <laughs> Can't have <laughs> in this house. Oh, this is the worst one yet, guys. Pre-marital hugging. Disgusting! British is used as a synonym for gay. Santa spoilers, so beware! The fact that a Santa spoilers tag would be warranted since there are kids out there who are super young reading fanfic. Oh no! Why are you reading about lemons and cream? Weirdly sexual cheeseburgers. Canon typical worms. Murder by way of a literal smallpox blanket. But he deserved it. Sometimes tentacle porn is something that can be so personal. Too many chai lattes. Not that there can be too many, but there might be in this fic. Lies. <laughs> the tags, just read the story. Victorian maiden Jonathan Harker? Unhealthy relationships, which I could probably fix if I could bother. <laughs> M rating stands for mmm, sex. <laughs> Oh, my humor's broken. <laughs> Yeehaw, for convenience's sake. Technically accurate medical information, but please God, never actually do this. Holy <laughs> Yes, I do have Satan on speed dial. Thank you very much. Homoerotic fossil collection. Homoerotic whale watching. Homoerotic lighthouse symbolism. Hmm, wonder where this is from. National Geographic. Do not come for me, please. Childhood best friend trope gone horribly wrong. The subtle homoeroticism of a Big Mac. Why are there so many, like, sexy... Burger stuff here. The glorious seductive power of the microwave. Mind control, coffee dates, you know, just your average weekday. Wildly irresponsible use of rat poison. No beta, we die like my dignity. Me every time I upload a video. Luigi, Nintendo, X Rick Atsley. Never gonna give you up. Yahoo! A can of soup. <gasps> you are going to process your emotions and you are going to like it. Nothing brings people together like a screaming sack of flour. I feel like I should start keeping a tally of how many birds die in this fic. Oh, baby. One can <laughs> That's good. That's really good. How can you have phone sex when it takes two hands to operate the phone? Hmm. Suez Canal is a s You will need a diagram of a shrimp to read this. Paimon's legs are broken, but she can fly thanks to technology. Psychopathic tendencies, just for fun. Is it Vor if Lelouch is a fish? Ah! Unreliable narrator who was also an angry rug. Homicidal furniture. Eyes where eyes don't belong. Shameless smut, except I do feel shame. Well, a four-year-old is given alcohol. Homoerotic shark hunting. Essays about toilets. Threat. Zongli's old rickety knees. No powers, unless you call homosexuality a power. Spider sex. Rectal thermometer. <laughs> like, it's not weird out of context, but why would someone write about a rectal thermometer? And now I'm going down a rabbit hole I do not care to get into. Okay. Ectogenitalia? Sugar daddy hold on. Vinica Jeffra. Thanks, daddy. <laughs> Shrek is a power bottle. There's an illegal panini ring. Non-consensual organ donation. <gasps> Rated M for like one scene where it gets too harsh, but otherwise a toddler can read this. Update, do not let toddlers read this. I continue my trend of hurting children. Alternate universe. Australia. Mickey Mouse is a 
Domestically vibes to the muffled sounds of torture. The aerodynamics of cheek clapping. Frat boy slander. Cannibalism wins. This has absolutely no plot and maybe like one vibe. Friendship is stored in the rack. Great images for a deep budget horse girl movie. Matroshka titty. So would it be like... Never mind. <laughs> Post murder hand jobs. That would make a really good band name. This is kind of Shrek AU if you squint. Cannon is a poltergeist in the attic, and I'm about to drop the sickest exorcism you ever did here. Golden Age of Yosemite Climbing AU. That's the nichest AU I think I've ever heard of. Kudos to you, author. Jesus X Reader X Sonic X Among Us Polycule. I can't even wrap my head around that one. Remember, kids, you can't spell manslaughter without laughter. Kermit the Frog X Siri. Don't break up my Siri. X Alexa ship guys come on the author regrets nothing just a little divine horror as a treat why did I use the fridge tag F around and find out <laughs> systemic corruption first aid gone sexual gone wild no beta we die like Kenny potato based mental breakdown a deer murders a cop Jerry Seinfeld X George Washington the map from door the explorer X the chocolate guy from Spongebob platonic war toe lactation literal brain You know, I think I'm gonna call it there. Thank you all so much for watching and submitting all of these incredible tags. A big thank you to the Tumblr blog, Dear AO3, as well. You have quite the collection going on. If you'd like more of these videos of me just reading weird fanfiction tags for your viewing pleasure, then let me know. Feel free to drop some more tags in the comments. Thank you again so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!